As a CRO, transaction scoring makes my job more fun and makes me feel more connected to the customer. Because of FICO scoring, we've been able to act quicker and better assist our customers. ANZ, uh, we were founded in 1835. Uh, we're now one of Australia's top four banks. We have a large retail footprint both in Australia and New Zealand. Institutionally, uh, we have a broader coverage globally. Transaction scoring is the next step. If you think about behaviour scoring, uh, typically it contains balances and ratios of payments to balances. Transaction scoring allows you to dig uh, another level deeper. What made up those balances? Was it cash? Was it shopping? What sort of shopping was it? Which allows a new level of predictiveness, which allows a new level of uh, more intelligent models. We used uh, 5.5 billion transactions over 36 months. We believe this is a global first uh, when it comes to the deployment of transactional scoring covering retail and commercial customers. When we go to transaction scoring, that escalated to over 20,000 different attributes. So not only has the amount of data gone into our scorecards, our transactional scorecards increased, but the amount of insight we've created from those other attributes that are somewhat predictive has given us a great palette to be able to do segmentation and policy work on. Typically, behaviour scoring is strong and associated with customers with lending. So we'll be able to now create scores for customers without lending by using transactional data for an extra 3.2 million customers. The more time you buy yourself, the more options customers have got. So not only do, can we see the types of transactions changing when there's, for example, a natural disaster, we know exactly who these customers are. So by getting to these customers earlier and contacting them, especially in a time of need, uh, as we've had a, a positive reaction when it comes to our, our pre-delinquency and our collection strategies. But the good thing about transaction scoring, it fits right, right across the spectrum. We do use it now for our credit decisioning, so to enhance our credit decisioning for existing customers. We use it for authorizations, and we use it for uh, early collection detection as well. Uh, we de we've deployed it already within our small business bank area. We've deployed it in home lending. We're deploying it in authorizations. One of uh, our strongest analytical partners that has a, has a, has a strength around, um, around modelling is FICO. FICO are all, always fun to work with. Uh, I love their innovation. I think the international footprint is very important to us. A um, yeah, big thing on transactional scoring was the governance. Uh, being, uh, I think, one of the leaders around bias uh, detection, around uh, explainability. Um, and I think the, the, there's a mantra or a, or a terminology they use that governance comes before model predictiveness and, and that's exactly where, where ANZ are at too. Having more transactional data, as I sort of mentioned, has meant better genies, better genies means better predictiveness, better predictiveness means you know, more targeted and selective outcomes for our customers. Our customers win, we win as a bank.